Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant Software here with some quick tips for when you're working with trap code form. One of the most common questions I get is how do I speed up trap code form? Now this question stems from the fact that when you get these awesome looking organic shapes that trap code form is known for, things can really slow down to a crawl. What's happening is you've got a lot of particles creating this shape a lot of particles are really going to be the bottleneck of your rendering process. We've got draft switches and there's a motion preview particle type that we can pull up, but really what it's coming down to is the tremendous number of particles is really just gonna bog down your computer no matter what kind of uh, trickery you throw at it. The bottom line is you want to reduce your particle count if you want trap code form to run faster. Now this isn't saying that you need to uh, permanently do this, but there is a temporary workaround. And I'm going to do this using an expression checkbox, and I'll have this checkbox drive the particles in X and Y and temporarily lower those. So I can uh, drop the particle count just by throwing the checkbox on and then uh, make some quick changes and then turn the checkbox off to get back to my original shape. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to create a new solid for form and I'll create a new camera. I'll apply trap code form to this solid. And let's create some quick settings here. Let's turn the particles in Z down to one. Let's expand the X axis out to fill the screen. And uh, let's start filling this in with some uh, particles here. In fact, let's drag X out even more. Let's go down to the fractal field and get some fractal displacement in our particles. Now you can still see the gaps in there, especially as I get, have the particles get displaced by that fractal field. So I have to go back up here uh, and start turning this up even more to fill in those gaps to get a nice, smooth, organic shape. Now we're starting to get there, but as I uh, hit play here, you can see how slowly it's moving. Especially if I go in and uh, try to make a camera move, I'll tap C to get my orbit camera tool, and I'll try to move around and it's reacting very slowly, very sluggish. So let's add on top of this an expression control uh, that is a checkbox control. In fact, let me select this layer, hit E to show my effects, and I'm gonna rename this draft switch. This is an on off switch, and when we read this in an expression, this equates to a zero or a one for off or on. So in my form settings, I'm going to go to my particles X and particles in Y and create expressions for these. So I'm going to hold on alt or option, click on the stopwatch next to particles in X and Y. I'm going to create a variable. I'll just use S and set S equal to the checkbox status. So S is now going to be either zero or one. Now let's check to see if S is zero or one. If it is, we'll divide the value by something like four. So we'll reduce the particle count by a quarter. So I'll type if, and in parentheses, S is equal to one. Make sure to use two equal signs in an if else statement. That's just how you have to do it. One equal sign means I'm setting S equal to something. Two means I am comparing S to something else. So if S is indeed equal to one, we'll have the value divide by four. Else, we'll just pass the original value. So if that checkbox is off, we want it to be unchanged. The unchanged value, we'll just use the word value. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the particles in Y. So now we have a much thinner look here, but if I hit play, you can see how much quicker this thing reacts. So I can go in and make some changes here. Let's say I want to add some flow along the x-axis. and uh, speed up the evolution. Maybe I'll want this to loop, so I'll click on flow loop, and uh, my comp is five seconds long, so we can see that my loop time is now five seconds. We've got a nice flowing organic shape. I could do some camera moves, and now I can go back in, turn the checkbox off, and we've got our original shape. Now in this original shape, maybe I wanna go into the particle and reduce this opacity, just so it's uh, not quite as dense. And let's give it a little color here. Let's throw some orange on there. There we go. Now, if I throw this back on, 
Um, one thing, like when we start to reduce that opacity, it can really start to thin out a little too much. Another thing I might recommend you do is go into the particle setting and create another expression for the size. And I'll paste that same expression, but instead of dividing the value, I'll multiply it. So let's say value uh, times three. So just using an asterisk. So now when I turn that checkbox on, we can see the basic shape. Uh, we've enlarged the particle size so it doesn't thin out too much. And we can go in and do some uh, changes and camera moves, uh, quite snappy. And then uh, turn the checkbox off and uh, we're back to the nice smooth shape. So I hope that's a useful tip for you. For more information on Trap Code Form, simply go to redgiantsoftware.com, go to products, and click on Trap Code Form. My name's Harry Frank. Thank you for watching.